to daily charge with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. Beloved, today is 17th of June 2024 and we'd like to look into the Word of God. But before we do that, I'd like us to say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this day which you have made, which is marvelous in our sight. Father, we thank you because it is not of our doing, but by your great grace and mercies over our lives that we are able to partake in those, amongst those that will witness this day. Father, we return all glory, all honor, all adoration to your name. Father, we pray that as we go into your word today, Father, we pray that your word will sow good seeds in our lives and germinate and yield forth good fruits in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that your, light, your, your word will lighten our lives, illuminate our lives, and make us better persons, Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, today we are looking at marketing Jesus in your neighborhood. Marketing Jesus in your neighborhood. And our Bible reading shall be taken from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, from verse 2 to 3. Again, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 2 to 3, which reads, Ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men, for as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in table of stone, but in fleshly tables of of the hearts. Amen. Beloved, marketing Jesus is influencing your world positively for him. Marketing Jesus is influencing your world positively for him. And beloved, as you begin to advertise Jesus today, he will advertise his glory in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I hear you? Amen. Beloved, most people find it easy to engage in idle talks ranging from personal issues to talks about other people to talks about trending topics to talks about um, social political and economic situations in the country the weather sports and many other mundane things however talking about jesus and his redemptive work for mankind and especially in their own lives is often completely left out of their entire discourse. Beloved, marketing Jesus in your neighborhood involves sharing the message of Christ in a way that you know is relatable, in a way that uh, the Lord has dropped it in your heart to um, to 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 market him. Beloved. So many people go about different um, discourse during their day-to-day -day activities, during their communication or, or to, to, to throughout their, their communications with people. And they, they talk about different things. They talk about trending topics, trending styles, what the news report is saying, what the re weather report is saying. But once it comes to witnessing Jesus, marketing Jesus to the people around them is it becomes something that they shy away from or they become so personal about oh is my personal experience this is my own personal salvation i should keep it to myself no beloved as much as you are a believer and you have received the salvation of christ we should be able to to preach to people about christ we should be able to market christ in our neighborhood to our friends to our families to um, our colleagues in our place of work, we should be able to market Christ. A young Israelite girl was taken captive by the Syrian army. She was assigned to serve the wife of, the, of Captain Naaman. Not too long, this young girl noticed that her mistress's husband was a leper, and she knew the God whom she served back home in Israel could heal him. Rather than engaging in self-pity on her own predicament, and evil wishes for her captors. She acted in simple faith and told her mistress about her God and his ability to heal her husband. And I'm sure we all know what happened thereafter. Beloved, 
Sometimes all we need to do is just to point people towards God. When we talk about marketing Jesus Christ or marketing Christ in your neighborhood, it's not about, um, I, I know many people have this, um, this um, uh, premonition that you have to carry a megaphone and start you know, walking on the streets, telling people oh, you have to give your life to Christ, you have to accept Jesus Christ, you have to be saved, you have to live um, the life of sin, you have to come into um, the life of Christ. Most, some people are, are not called to take megaphones on the, on the street to do that. Some, it could be market evangelism, going, walking to the market, talking to the market, conversing with them, talking to them, and in your conversation with them, you bring in um, the, the, the aspect of Christ in your conversation while you are conversing with them. It's a way of evangelizing Christ. It's a way of marketing Christ in your neighborhood. Again, while conversing with your friends as well, you know that your friends are not living the life that God has called believers to live. You know that right in your heart. But you do not want to talk to them about Christ. Why? Because you feel, oh, it should be a topic that should be left out. But when it comes to trendy topics, oh, yes, you want to discuss that. Beloved, as believers, that is not the kind of lifestyle that God has called us to. He has saved us. We have been saved. Likewise, we should bring others to repentance to Christ. Beloved, we need to show the love of Christ and the teachings of Christ in our community. We can start by building genuine relationships with our neighbors, get to know them, show kindness, be a positive presence in the community. When people see the lifestyle you are living, it encourages them to follow the kind of Christ you are preaching, you are preaching to them. In your neighborhood, are you the type that causes troubles or causes um, um, confusion in your neighborhood? If you are that type, nobody will listen to your message. Nobody will listen to the message you are trying to um, uh, preach to them. You must show act of kindness. Beloved, it is in these little actions of us that, that, we, sh that we show in our in our day-to-day -day living that people see. We are the, we are the Bible that people read. We are, the, we are the Bible that unbelievers read. They look at us, they look at our lifestyles, they look at our actions. How do you react to things? Are you the type that when faced with insult or with um, a situation that is, 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 is not so good, you are not too comfortable with, you begin to flare up in anger, you begin to use coarse words, you begin to talk harshly to people in a rude manner. Nobody will listen to the, 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 the preaching or the message you are trying to pass across. Nobody will listen to that. Be the type that shows kindness in your environment. Be the type, you, and showing kindness doesn't have to be, oh, you have to empty your whole account. No. For instance, I, 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 I had an experience that, you know, somebody was passing through his neighborhood and he saw the um, security net of, of the, <clears throat> the security guards on the street and he saw that the net has torn. And he said to himself, oh, mosquito must be really disturbing this, this, this security man. And he went out of his way and fixed that particular net for them. It's just, that's an act of kindness. That kind of person now doesn't need to go, and be, um, to, to go and start telling them, oh, you must give your life to Christ by force. He has passed a message of kindness to them. And in so doing, it is easier to penetrate the heart of those kind of people. Why? Because he has, he has shown the act of Christ, which is the act of kindness to them. So, beloved, are you the type that is always loud spoken? You are always argumentative. You are always confrontational, or you are you are very judgmental. Imagine you want to preach Christ to people, and you are already condemning them. You are already being you are already judging them to hell. By so doing, you won't be able to penetrate or, or preach the, the the message of Christ to them. You must show act of you must you must be able to discern in whichever situation you have found yourself in, whichever environment you have found yourself in. When you want to market Christ, you must discern your environment. Oh, what kind of environment have I found myself? Am I in, the, in, the, in, the, um, in an environment that is dominated by the people of other religion? How do you, how do you, what approach do you take in marketing Christ to them? And in this instance, now that's where you begin to seek the face of God. You begin to, you begin to ask for divine wisdom. You begin to ask for, for the spirit of discernment. You begin to ask God to fill your mouth with the words of Christ, the words he would, 
it would um you would it would like for you to say not words from your own wisdom not words of your own flesh amen beloved let's take a short break we'll be right back now through your handheld gadgets you can now have access to your daily devotional the mountain top live for the year 2024 volume 9 available through download on the google play store and the ios app store download yours today Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to Daily Church. Like we're saying, um, you ask for the spirit of discernment. Whichever environment you have found yourself, be able to discern. How do I pass the message of Christ to people in this particular environment? You have studied this particular environment. Okay, um, you have to demonstrate Christian values through your actions. Practice love, show compassion and integrity in your day-to-day -day life. Let your behavior be a testimony to the transformative power of faith. Beloved, you can also plan events to bring people together. This could be a neighborhood picnic, a clean-up day in your environment or a garden clean-up. Or you can use these opportunities to foster a sense of community and share the message of love, share the message of Christ. It's not just uh, me, myself, my and uh, my family. Oh, we just no. You could, you could, you, you could be deliberate. You could be intentional by planning an event, an event to bring people together, to fellowship with them. Oh, how was your day? How was your day to the? How was your week? How was? How did your day go? And in doing that, in converse, you listen to them, or they begin to open up to you. Oh, my day. Oh, this was what I faced today. Blah blah blah, and all that. And before you know it, you're already bringing out the words of christ preaching to them talking to them about christ and before you know what is happening they've left what it is about their day-to-day -day buzzle and ozzle and challenges and they are listening to you and in so doing you are bringing them to christ so beloved you could also host a bible studies or small groups you know consider hosting a regular bible study or small group in your home or in your common area also, you make your home a welcoming space for neighbors. Host gatherings, invite people over for meals, create an atmosphere where conversations about faith can naturally occur. Create an, an, an enabling atmosphere where these kind of conversations can thrive. How do you create this kind of atmosphere where conversations about Jesus Christ can thrive? When you don't even greet your neighbor. You don't even say good morning or good afternoon you don't greet you don't you don't communicate with people you are just in your own world or you call yourself and maybe an introvert you are just uh, like most people say i'm on my lane i want to be on my lane beloved that is a life of selfishness that is not the kind of life that christ has called us to live we must care we must show love to our neighbors we must show love to them and in showing love to them is in ways where we, we can you know um bring uh, we can begin to Communicate with them, say hello to them, greet them, show acts of kindness, be compassionate. Are they celebrating anything? You go there and rejoice with them. Are they mourning? You mourn with them. In so doing, you are replicating the life of Christ and they are seeing it. And it gives a thriving environment, it gives a comfortable environment for you to preach to Christ, to preach about Christ rather to them. Amen. Also, 
for some people that say, oh, I don't like visiting people's houses. Oh, I, I cannot carry megaphone to to tell people or oh, repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and all that. Oh, I don't want to visit anybody. I don't want to. You could use the power. You can leverage on the power of social media. You don't want to carry megaphone. No problem. You don't want to go from house to house to witness Christ to people. No problem. You don't want to organize picnic. No problem. You don't want to organize a fellowship or a Bible study cohort, no problem. Use the power of social media. On your social media pages, I'm sure you must have friends or followers that you engage with from time to time. Please use leverage on that to preach Christ to them. In your daily posts, or maybe you are sharing your experience of how your day went, be intentional about it. You know, for instance, you are sharing with your fans or your followers or your friends on social media. Oh, my day went like this. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You begin to infuse the word of Christ in it. But I thank God because God enabled me um, to, to accomplish this particular task. You know, the word of God says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And because I believed in this particular word of God, I held on to it. When I was given a daily task in my office, oh, this was how I was able to accomplish it with the help of God, with the backing of the Holy Spirit, with the help of Christ. As you are seeing it, unconsciously, you are bringing Christ into their subconscious. You are bringing Christ into their subconscious mind. You are, you are marketing Christ to them. You are making them know that with the power of Christ, you are able to accomplish this particular task. With the power of Christ, you are able to surmount these particular challenges. With the power of Christ, with the divine enablement of, of Christ, you are able to, to, to surmount this particular challenge you are faced with. Whether in your place of work, whether in the aspect of tending to your children, raising your children, or a particular issue you had with your child, are you able to you know, overcome it? By the time you are sharing it on, on your social media space, you are infusing Christ into every message you are trying to pass. Beloved, the, how, 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 how else do you, do you market Christ? If you cannot infuse the word of God, the word of your testimony as well. Beloved, many have been brought to Christ through testimonies, people sharing their testimonies. And I'm sure the Lord has blessed you in so many ways than one. The Lord has been faithful to you. You have so many testimonies to share. Why are you keeping it to yourself? Why you know that this particular testimony can bring people to Christ, can make them seek the God that delivered you from that particular situation, the God that gave you that testimony, the Lord that brought you that breakthrough. When you know that that particular breakthrough you experienced through the power of Christ can bring others to Christ, why are you keeping that testimony to yourself? Beloved, our testimonies can bring others to Christ. It is possible. I have seen it happen many times than one. You could share your testimony, whether it's in your gathering, in your church gathering, or your social media space, or wherever, whichever medium you want to use. Let the, the, the power of the, let the words of your testimony, let it bring others to Christ. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't just share it amongst your immediate family members or you just keep it to yourself that, oh, the Lord has done this. Father, I'm grateful. You kneel down. Oh, Father, I'm grateful. I'm happy you have done this for me. Thank you for doing this for me. Thank you for doing that for me. And you, you're keeping it to yourself. You're not um, sharing it to others. In sharing it to others, it builds up other people's faith in Christ. It builds, it makes them seek the kind of God that has delivered you from that particular situation, that has given you that particular testimony. It brings them to, to a place of repentance in Christ as well. Beloved, the kind of life that God has called us to is not the kind of life to, to be selfish, to be selfish about, to keep it to ourselves. No. Our words of testimony should be a, a, an affirmation to the power of God in our lives. And so therefore, we must be able to share it amongst our community. In so doing, we are also marketing Christ to people around us. Beloved, sometimes all we need to do is just to point people towards God, towards God, and we'll take over from there. Even that in itself is a big deal. Leprosy is a very demeaning and embarrassing condition that makes one society societal outcast. We can see how the fate of one little girl triggered a process by which a major work of salvation deliverance and healing took place in an otherwise hopeless situation while God took all the glory. Beloved, I pray that the Lord will take glory over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil will not have the last and final say over your life. The, your life shall give glory to the name of God in Jesus' name. So beloved, as much as 
we are trying to um, explain ways in which you can market Christ to people. You can also invite neighbors to church or you don't want to preach Christ to them, you don't want to witness to them, you can just give them an invitation to, to, to your place of worship. Let them come over and listen to the word of God. That can also bring them to repentance. That can bring them to a closer relationship with God. You, oh, you want to claim I don't have a social media account? No problem. Extend invitations to people in your neighborhood. Extend invitations to colleagues in your offices. Extend invitations to people in marketplaces. Oh, we have a program in our church. Please, could you please find time to attend? Invite them to gatherings where they can, they can witness the, the power of Christ and also have to fellowship with the people of, of God. Also, beloved, you could also look for opportunities to help your neighbors practically. Like the example I, I made of someone that has to fix the security nets of the, of the security guards on the streets. It was, he, 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 looked, he looked for an opportunity to help his neighbors. And in so doing, they were thankful to him. And in a way, he, he was able to talk to them Oh, this is where I worship. Do you mind? I want to invite you. You know, that has already, the, the, the act of kindness, that act of kindness had already watered the ground for him to, to say whatever he, want, he wanted to say, for him to market Christ in, in, a, in a very simple manner that he ought to. And sometimes we need to ask God for wisdom on what to say. I, I, I have had the experience of one of my mothers in faith who told me that in their own community, they are not allowed to preach Christ openly. They are not allowed to bring about um, um, gatherings, social gatherings, where they start preaching about Christ. They are not allowed to do so. Beloved, let's take a short break now. We'll be right back. Thank you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to Daily Chat. Like I was saying, I, I have had the experience of one of my mothers in faith who told me that in the, in the environment they stay, they are not allowed to preach Christ to their neighbors. It's considered offensive. So what they do is, she, she organized a tea party. So in a, in a, they just went to a restaurant, they organized a tea party, invited people over for tea party. And as they were all drinking tea, they were all merry, they were drinking tea and they were all happy. And from there, they began conversations in the restaurants. And in the restaurant right there, you know, people had to start dropping their cups of tea to listen to what they had to say. They wanted to preach the word of God. They wanted to market Christ to the people of, of other faiths, other religions. And in so doing, they had to bring in this act of togetherness by inviting them over to a tea party. And in so doing, they were able to penetrate their hearts. Beloved, there are many ways in which you can market Christ to in your neighborhood. Beloved, in Psalm chapter 5, verse 39, Jesus said, But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. Retaliation is the natural response of self-love to the attack of a supposed enemy. And as long as a man is governed by self-love, he is swayed by the spirit of retaliation. The natural man, when he speaks honestly, justifies the spirit of revenge. 
he feels no obligation to be good to those who have been unkind to him in ages in ages beloved showing acts of love showing act of kindness a natural man wants to retaliate a natural man wants to wants to be proud a natural man wants to always feel on top of what, what he's doing a natural man would you know want ego to get in the place in the way of of um, being of getting the way of kindness beloved but because we have the mind of christ we have to lay low all those emotions we have to lay low all those wanting to be right at all times always wanting to be you know wanting to win every conversation at all times if you want to message if you want to preach christ to people in your neighborhood you must come down to their level first study the kind of hood you are you, you have found yourself in is this the environment whereby the, the the word of god you are not you are not allowed to to preach it loudly how do you come down to their level how do you show them love beloved naturally when you show people love they want to listen to what you have to say so as much as as we want to impact the life of others with the message of christ we must show the act of love towards them and as we do this the lord will empower us the lord will grant us the grace to bring more more fold, more people into his fold in jesus name amen beloved i'd like us to go into our prayers right now we are going to pray like this father father lord let your word have a free course and be glorified in me in the name of jesus father lord let your word have a free course and be glorified in me in the name of jesus lord make me fruitful in every good work father lord make me fruitful in every good work i want you to pray that prayer with all seriousness father lord make me fruitful in every good work father make me fruitful in every good work in jesus name lord make me an attraction to your kingdom not a distraction lord make me an attraction to your kingdom not a distraction lord make me an attraction to your kingdom not a distraction in jesus mighty name of prayer father lord make me a shining light anywhere i find myself father lord make me a shining light wherever i find myself father lord make me a shining light wherever i find myself in jesus name lord make me a true example of a believer lord make me a true example of a believer lord make me a true example of a believer in jesus mighty name we pray amen oh lord give me body for souls in the name of jesus oh lord give me body for souls oh lord give me body for souls give me body for souls to be one to your kingdom oh lord my father give me burdens for souls in jesus mighty name we pray amen again we are going to pray like this my life must attract souls into the kingdom of god in the name of jesus my life must attract souls into the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, my life must attract souls into the kingdom of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, remember that we must learn to publicly identify with Christ anywhere we find ourselves. And as we do so, the Lord will publicly identify with us. We will see his glory in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for joining this broadcast. See you again next time. God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.